We so often skip quickly through the daily psalm to get to the gospel. We say the short responsory to the psalm, but so often we forget it as quickly as it is said. The psalms represent the prayers of the people. They were written by a person of prayer, someone who knew the shepherd and who recognized the shepherd's role in the life of the community. Our psalm today, one of the royal psalms, praising God as the king of his people. The central message of our Psalm 95 today is that the Lord is a great king. To recognize God's reign is to recognize that God created us and sustains us. For this reason, God is worthy of our praise. The psalm also suggests that our praise is more than just words lifted heavenward. It also includes listening to God. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us cry out. Let us come before him joyfully singing out our psalms. Praise and gratitude. No matter how dark the day, there is always something to be grateful for. And the psalmist challenges us to find it and to give thanks. The idea of bowing down in worship, of kneeling before the Lord, indicates to us an attitude of listening, of quiet. Listening no longer to our own voice, but listening for the voice of the Lord. After the praise and the gratitude, we give God a chance to talk. However, sometimes we do find it hard to listen to God. What stops us from hearing him? Our own assumptions, maybe our prejudices. But more often than not, it is our desire to control God that stops us being challenged by God's word. We want God always to agree with us. But in listening to God, we have to allow God to be God. Let us pray that today the Lord will open our hearts and our ears and our eyes to be able to see God's presence in our lives. We pray that God may help us to be surprised by love through the kindness and the gentleness that comes our way from surprising places. Have a blessed day.